Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to find Wi-Fi direct password on Epson Ecotank L3270 and how to change this password using smartphone or computer interface. So let's get into it. The first thing you should know, your printer doesn't have any Wi-Fi password until you enable the Wi-Fi Direct feature. These Wi-Fi indicators means the printer is connected to a shared network, which doesn't require a password for the printer itself. Uh, to enable Wi-Fi Direct, you need to make sure the printer is powered on and the power indicator is glowing solid. If it's sleeping, just wake it up by pressing the Cancel button. And now, Let's enable the Wi-Fi Direct feature, press and hold Wi-Fi button and information button together until you see the Wi-Fi indicators taking turns. Now release the buttons and wait for about 30 seconds until the lower indicator uh, turns on solid. So now Wi-Fi Direct is enabled and we can get a password. It's very easy. Just press and hold the information button uh, until the printer starts printing. So just wait. The power indicator is blinking, but do not release the button so far. You need to hear a sound from the printer, which means it starts printing. Okay, now I'm hearing the sound and I can release the button and wait for three pages from here. Actually, you don't need all three pages, you need just the first one and you can press cancel after you get the first. And your Wi-Fi direct information is here. This is your network name or SSID and this is your password. By the way, if your printer is new or reset to the factory defaults, uh, you don't even have to print something. You just need to open this lid on the front panel and here is your Wi-Fi direct default password. Also, you can use this password to log in as administrator in the web interface or advanced settings of your printer. If you want to change your Wi-Fi direct password, you can do this from smartphone or computer, but I recommend computer because the interface is not designed for mobile devices. So what you need to know first is your IP address. Direct IP address to connect directly to the printer or shared IP address to connect with our shared network. So uh, keep this information in mind and let's continue on your computer. No matter which operation system you use, check where you connect it to, to a shared network or to your printer directly. And then open any web browser and in the search bar enter your printer's IP address, corresponding IP address depending on your connection, just like this. And hit enter. It takes you to this warning. Uh, click advanced if you see it and uh, accept risk and continue. And this button may be labeled differently depending on your browser. You just need to proceed. This is your territory. Uh, this is not dangerous. Now you are in the printer's web interface and what you need is login as administrator. So click on this button. And here you need to enter your password. This is the password from your product label from the inside of your printer. You already know how to find it, so enter it in this field. Click OK. I don't want to save it so far. And now you need to switch basic settings to advanced. And once you are here, you need to expand services on the left pane. Switch to Wi-Fi Direct. And here is your password. You can change it over here. But let me keep it default. I just showing you how to change it. So type in your new password over here. Also, you can restore default settings uh, if you did something wrong. Uh, next, once you change the password and network name, uh, you can click on Next and click OK to save your changes. Uh, that's it. Now uh, the printer is shutting down and reloading and it may take a few minutes. So uh, just wait and you're all set. And actually, that's it. I hope the video was helpful. If yes, consider to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button to support us. Any questions, comment below. And see you in the next videos. Be awesome. Bye, guys.